Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mystic Messenger! Wow! Oh my god! It feels so good to just say this two times! Two times now! Finally back! We're finally back! Oh my god! And it's so exciting because I get to record for like, in like successively <laughs> for the first time in like months! So last episode we left off on continuing Jumin's route. We finally sit down as Jumin. We see a cutscene with Jumin where he finally sits down with his dad and with Glam Choi, who his dad announces as his new fiance. Yes, he's planning to marry Glam Choi. He's super ecstatic about it. And then, of course, Jumin, of course, was like, I don't really care what you do as long as it doesn't affect the company. And unfortunately, though, Jumin's dad was like, hey, so, like, about the company, since I'm getting married and since, you know, this kind of relates to the business, I want to suggest, uh, or Glam Choi has suggested that you marry one of her students so that you can, like, acquire her little business into our business and then we you grow that business together and live happily ever after kind of thing and Juma's just like oh, wait a minute this is not what I agreed to because he's like I don't I don't like this I don't like the fact that it seems like you're selling me out to this woman and I don't appreciate it I've never said anything about you and your womanizing ways but this is by far like you've got you've taken it too far you've fallen for her looks and for her like tricks like too much it's too much and it doesn't help that um, Glam Choi, after Jumin left, he, she was like, don't worry about it, I'll make sure that the two of them fall in love, they, you know, they're gonna get married, don't worry about it, and it's gonna work out fine. And of course, his dad is just all wrapped up around her fingers and doesn't see, you know, her conniving, scheming ways, her gold digging ways. But the rest of our fae members have caught on to it. Jay He has found out that the divorce article the divorce rumor articles about, or the gossip articles that are going about, like, um, Jumin's dad, around Jumin's dad, it, the story was provided by Glam Shore herself, as well as, a, like, pictures, like, she hired paparazzi to get the pictures for it as well, too. So she's shady. She's a shady lady, and everyone knows it, except for his, except for Jumin's dad, and Jumin's having a hard time because he's like, I have to prepare for the stocks to crash with, with our company because of what you because of the stupid decision that you're making and also he's saying how like he's saying that the, the company that the dad wants him to acquire is like a no name and like he doesn't understand why he's even bothering with this it's just something's fishy something's fishy and we don't like it so yeah that's where we left off and uh, yeah, we can, can definitely continue on to the day. I've already answered emails off off screen kind of thing. I lost the cherry farm dude. I think I did. I ever even get him before? Because I swear I fucked up the first time too. It was like a stupid question where it's like, how do you know a cherry is ripe? And I'm just like, I thought it's like when when it's. A really deep burgundy color no it's green for some reason I don't know whatever regardless I am not pressed for guests that much because I feel like I have a lot enough to cover in getting the good and the normal ending so let's just continue on with the chats for the day of the sixth day and start off with you Sung. what does he have to say what is the what is even the chat I didn't even read the the title of the chat so is Juma's company going to be okay yes that's what everybody's been wondering that's what everybody's stressed over about Okay, let's get chatting. So he's keyboard smashing, arg, and he's, I love how he's using that as his profile picture because same. Uh, let's write legible words here. You're not using this by yourself. You son, what's up? Lolo, Lolo server maintenance again? Let's write your legit. Let's see. Yeah, I can't understand you, okay? I can't understand the keyboard smashing. Sorry, I just feel horrible right now. I'm just sitting by myself. But I hate what the girls are talking about. So apparently on Celebrity Sweet News, Chairman Han himself gave an interview that he is getting a that he is getting divorced. Yeah, he we yes, we know that. So he gave an interview. I'm worried about Jimin. Gosh, I want to be under the spotlight too. No, I do not ever ever ever. Okay, there we go. I'm worried about Jumin. Exactly. This isn't just about the chairman. I wish they'd think of Jumin too. Yeah, I mean, what was he thinking? I don't know. Giving an interview to that crappy news channel? Everything does go public if you're famous, but this that this concerns his family. Uh, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want the whole world to know about this. And also, right? Don't you think that things are going a bit too fast? 
yes, they are. It's all part of Glam Choice's schemes and plans, isn't it? I'm honestly so jealous of Glam. No, yeah, getting remarried right after getting a divorce? Kinda fishy. I don't know. Exactly. If I were Jumin, I'd be going crazy. Yes. This is all happening in a day. You know what Jihee says. Scares me more. Uh-huh. What did she say? You can't deny that Glam Choi is up to something. Oh yeah, okay. We already know that. It's obvious. I'm worried about Jumin, but the company will lose its reputation now. Yeah, the girls in my class are already talking about boycotting CNR's products. Oh, they don't want to buy things from a company whose chairman swaps women so fast like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so I mean, come on, the company's huge. It's not going down just because of that. Perhaps he should have been more careful about sharing his words. I mean, to both, but at the same time, you know, you never know. Power in the masses. Power in the masses. I know, I'm sure a lot of women purchase products from Jumin's company. I may be getting ahead be I may be getting too ahead of myself, but maybe this will end up damaging the company too. What if Jumin gets into more trouble because of that? Nothing will change just because I'm worried, but Jumin even sent me security guards because of the hacker fiasco. And I can't just sit and watch. Yeah, while Jumin's company is getting attacked. Well yeah, do something about it. I want security you something that's very nice of you. That is very nice of you. You're so supportive. I'm only helping out a friend in RFA. If there's anything I can do, I'd like to help, but Jumin security guards... Why? Uh, this isn't the time to talk about this, but to be honest, that's bringing me a lot of attention. <laughs> they followed me to school just in case. I feel like I'm someone super important. With all, the, with all these people in suits following me, I never imagined that this would happen to me. But honestly, it's not so bad getting attention. It feels weird that this is all because of the hacker. <laughs> but when else would I get to feel this? <laughs> Might as well enjoy the feeling, haha. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to look at it. The positives. Haha, <laughs> it's not for a good reason, but enjoy it while you can. You can't stop there, lol. I mean, you at least should get a private jet, lol. No. I mean, that's, yeah, that's looking on the bright side. Right, nothing will come out of just worrying. Haha, <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I should enjoy it for the time being and think about what I could help. What I could do to help. Oh, cl uh, class is starting again, so I have to go. I'll tell you if I hear any other rumors. Oh, okay, thanks. Goodbye, keep your ears open. Focus on your class instead of the rumors. Keep your ears open. Keep your ears open. You too, I'll be back later. Okay. We're all banding together to help Jumin. It's such a heartwarming sight. <laughs> okay, there you go. So the next conversation is with Jehi. Poor Jehi, stop cat businesses. Cat business. Is Jumin sending you cat business even in this tumultuous time of his life? <laughs> Maybe that's his only way to relieve stress. Honey, you're here. Yes, I am. I'm always here. I'm getting a headache with all these false stories going around. Oh no. She's doing damage control. Uh, Jehee, hello. But what do you mean by false stories? Did Jumin go to work today? What tie is he wearing? Which brand? No, that's a little, that's a little obsessive. I don't like that. Articles went out that Mr. Han Sr. gave an interview, yes, himself, but it wasn't an interview. He simply did not give any comments to the reporter's questions. Gosh, oh, okay. All right, uh, a decrease in sales will, will be hard to avoid because of this. Oh. oh, well, at least it's nice. It's, yeah, okay. Never mind, I remember. So Mr. Han doesn't seem too happy, but once other departments st start sending in reports about sales, the office will be very gloomy. Yeah, we left off on a little story mode where Jumin's cat, Elizabeth, accidentally turned on the TV and it showed the news channel where it's like, ooh, tune in, like, you know, we stopped the chairman on his way to work and he, he confirmed that he's getting a divorce kind of thing. <laughs> okay, so how is Jumin? Yeah, how is he? How's he doing? Mr. Han, yeah. How is he? What's, what's happening? Is he okay? Mr. Han is working as usual, but is taking care of paperwork enormously fast. It's good that Mr. Han is focusing on work. Uh-huh, but I can tell that he is feeling very low at the moment. Oh, The fact that he's working faster isn't too strange. Uh, but I almost doubted my ears when I heard this. Mr. Han, what? He wants to do a cat business? Said we should stop all cat-related projects for a while. <gasps> it's the opposite! Oh no, you know it's serious when he's no longer doing the cat projects. No, phew, that's good. I wish he'd stop obsessing over cats. Jimin Ru is really not himself. Oh my god. You're right. This is serious. Uh, I was happy to hear, but to be honest, but sh 
I was happy to to hear it, to be honest, but shocked never nonetheless. I never imagined Mr. Han would put a stop to the cat projects. Besides, he acted very much like a true director, quote quote. Uh, and told everyone we should prepare for our share prices to go down and get our performances up 130%. Oh my god. <laughs> what he said is absolutely right, but I couldn't get used to it. Oh, Zen's here. Uh, Jehi, good to see you. And, and you too, honey. Yeah, hello, Zen. Whoa, surprise, surprise. Zen, how's the meeting? Zen, you're here. I don't think Juma's doing very well. Yeah, he's, uh, really, yeah. Uh, hmm, that's too bad. <laughs> Zen, be a little more concerned. <laughs> but I can't let bad news dampen my dampen my excitement about this new role. You have a new role. Yes, yes, it's co finally confirmed. Yay, congrats. Yeah, congratulations. That's really good news. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> the director wanted to see me in the morning. Okay. And... Uh, so I thought I might be... A so I, so I thought it might be about a new role. I put some effort into looking properly. Lol. La, la. I got there a bit ex early. I got there a bit early because I was so excited. But he was already waiting for me. Haha. <laughs> he must have waited for a while. Lol. He's so cute. <laughs> he must. You must have felt great. Of course. I knew. In, I knew it the moment I saw him. I, as soon as I said hello, he put his arms around my shoulder and said, "Zen, <laughs> isn't it time you work on a new role?" La, la, la. And then he added, "Yes. Can't waste this pretty face." You should let people see your face more often. It'd be a waste not to long. <laughs> I knew it. He was absolutely right. He knows exactly what a director should be doing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yes, he's a great director. You're a pretty dramatic long. He's a great director. Okay, one more heart. One heart. One heart. He has a good eye. Yes. Ha ha ha. But what's really awesome is... Ta-da! Oh! <laughs> of course, Jay, he's like, yes, give me that good good. <laughs> Room pop rehearsal, well, so cool, but uh, the costume is a bit tacky. I don't want to break his heart. I don't want to say, but he would. Hey, I may say the costume's tacky, but you work it so well, Zen. No, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Let's just. Okay, I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Really? I think it's fine. I know it's fine. But it's, it's, you know what? It's, it's it's not the point here. I don't think it's tacky, and you will look incredible whatever you wear, Zen. Yes, thanks, Jaehee. Yes, it's, I'm with Jaehee. Like, I, I I know. Honey, you look forward to it, too. You'll be surprised when you you actually see me in it. Oh, right, lol. So the director also said this. Go on. Go on. What he say? What he say? Then you have the looks even the statue of David would be jealous of. Let me add to that the strength of Hercules. Something like that. No, it was actually even Zeus would kill to have your charms. Yeah, it, it was this. Lala. No wonder he changed the he changed his banner picture to the whole like statue of David with his face photoshopped on it. So he's so right, lol. Even Zeus would be jealous. The two sentences are completely different. The different. So <laughs> so I know Zen. I know. I'm just. I'm just trying not to get hurt. It's just. It just means that Zen is attractive in so many different ways, right? To be honest, I love Greek mythology, but I always wondered what was so charming about Zeus. I mean, don't you think that I'm a million times more handsome than Zeus? Yes. I'm sweet. Have good. Have a good body. Have good looks. I actually did think that I could be the god of beauty or something like that. Lol. <laughs> You, you go ahead. You dream that. God, la la. Uh, me, more handsome than Zeus, la la. I'm a bit conceited, aren't I? Haha. Ha. No one has actually seen what Zeus looks like, so you can say whatever you want. I mean, and also, if there is a god of beauty, I think you'd be perfect for it. Yes. Ha ha ha. Congratulations on getting the new role. Can I ask you the title of the new piece? Oh, uh, I heard it's based on the game, Tendilion. <laughs> yeah, it's Tendilion. <laughs> <laughs> Tendilion! I heard it was a game that I that almost gave many young girls heart attacks. Never ending turn, never ending loop. Uh, and now you get to make that game into reality. I am very excited for it. It makes sense though, because he's dressed up as one of the characters. Oh my god, that's funny. I love all the dandelion references here. So is the game available on Steam? I'll look forward to it. Is it available on Steam? Can I get it on Steam? <laughs> Can I get it on Steam? Yes, I actually purchased it a while ago, but I should try it again. Now I can think of Zen. No, I mean, never mind. <laughs> never mind. 
Penny, if you haven't purchased it yet, I strongly I strongly recommend you do. I already did, so yeah, la la la, nice advertising. Anyways, thanks so much everyone, la la, and I played it too. I made a Let's Play on it. If you guys want to check it out, you guys aren't aware of it, then here's the link somewhere on the screen. <laughs> and I'm sure the musical will live up to all my fans' expectations. That's very good news. Once the fan club knows, they will all start they will all start clapping and singing congratulatory songs. Songs too, ha la. Haha, <laughs> just hearing it makes me happy, lol. I'm really looking forward to it to it too apparently my new character is this obsessive strong man honey how would you feel if someone like me obsessed over you <laughs> i mean uh it's half and half i'll report you to the police you can't have me that easily oh my god <laughs> you can have me i'm yours you can't have me that easily <laughs> That makes me more curious, haha. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I personally think that no one, no one can resist Zen. Yes, should imagine you getting obsessed over someone. Oh, yeah, for their health, I mean. Yes, to, but to be honest, TBH, I've never been obsessed over a woman, lol. So I'm, w I'm wondering how I should prepare for this role. Play the original game. Hmm. Why don't you just think about how Jimin acts towards Elizabeth? It's not too late. Get obsessed over me. Come on, babe. Show me what you got. <laughs> I would say play the original game, but like I, I would also say this too. You know, just just to poke fun at him. Nah, Elizabeth means a lot to him. Okay, he's got he got the cat from, from thing, from um, um, what's V? Yes. Oh my god, I, I blanked out on his name on his name like before. So play the original game. Just play the original game. See how he's like. I like to, but my schedule's packed with rehearsals. Uh. That's true. So I think it's not a bad idea to use Mr. Han as as your reference material. Jimin that jerk? Yes, since his love towards Elizabeth is on the borderline of, of obsession. La la la, guess. La la, you're right. Hey guys, come on. First, the first time that dude might actually help me help my acting career. I can't. I still can't understand why the hell he's so into that furball. He even expanded his business for his cast, so you know his love is strong. Mr. Han told me to stop all cat pro cat related projects. Wow, stop all cat projects. La la, that's the first, right? I know. That's good news, isn't it? No, no, no. I'm happy too, but but it's concerning. Lol, isn't that really good for you? Guess he finally came to his senses, lol. No, he's stressed. <laughs> Don't worry about it and just focus on the work you have, Jay. Uh-huh. Well, it's not very it's not it is not it is very not like Mr. Han to make such a decision. I think so too. He's stopping the project that he loves. It is. The company's gonna get rich now. No. Yeah, he's stopping the things that he loves doing. So you agree, yeah. Well, isn't that for the better? No, what's the cho what's the point if you can't enjoy the little things in life? <laughs> He's throwing away all the useless projects and finally doing some real work. To be honest, Mr. Han has always done a lot of work, and he is he has been very good at it. Yeah, exactly. Although he occasionally starts idiotic cat projects. Uh-huh. The reason why our department shows the best results in the company is because Mr. Han is a very good company huh? director. Oh, yes, yeah, so he was actually pretty good. He is very good, to be honest. Yeah, he does much more than I do. Yeah, that jerk. <laughs> yes, yeah, Zen, be nicer. That's pretty cool. He works hard, makes a lot of dough, has a rich family, and is handsome, the perfect husband. No, that's pretty cool. He has a pretty cool side to him. He is very respected in the company. Well, yeah. Here, he t here he talks about his cat all the time. Uh, so I w so I doubt the members would feel the same way. He but he's respected, anyways. Anywho's, uh, Mr. Han has always done well, but now he wants to see better results. And that it, it might be to prepare for the the drop in stock prices due to Mr. Han's senior scandal, but it might also be because he's worried that if he shows the slightest drop in performance results, it would be bad on him, yeah. Mr. Han Senior might force him into the marriage because of that. Oh yeah. So oh, of course this is only my guess. Yeah, it makes sense though. He could just be a man and ask me out. <laughs> I know that he, I know that's what he wants. God, no. Yeah, I guess this isn't the time to expand the person the business for personal reasons. Right. He's got his priorities straight. Yes. Which is good. I mean, like he he knows. He knows when's the good time to fool around, when's the good time to like get down to business. Mr. Han has started cat projects for his personal pleasure and has been able to 
and has been able to because he is the chairman's son. He might be trying he might be trying to prove his abilities just as a normal director of the company without using the son privilege. Hmm. That's hard. Personally, I think Jumin with his personality would never marry someone if he doesn't want to. Exactly, yeah. I don't I don't picture him to be like that either. So normally Jumin would ignore it, but his father suggested it. I think that's why this is getting to him. If I marry Jumin, our child would be born with a silver spoon. And just thinking about it makes me happy. No! No. Yes, I think so as well. Yeah, Mr. Han actually thinks very much of his family. Aww. Aww, he does after all work in a family business. Him, yeah. I never thought there uh -huh. was that side to him. Well, uh, then, let's if you just be a little nicer, Zan. So let's quit talking about depressing things and go back to talking about my role, my new role, haha. <laughs> Then, <laughs> so the person who wrote the script is in the Romance Novel Association. I'd like to invite them to the party. What do you think? <gasps> yeah, we got them before. We've got them. Yeah, it's a good idea. You might be able to get another. You might be able to get other roles from them. So if I play this part well, I think that might be possible. Yes, yes. I didn't know, but apparently a lot of. A lot of the writers are fans of mine. Ha, gah. Seriously, me incorporating Jumin Han into my acting? The world is full of surprises. Exactly. Exactly. So I never expected that I'd call a reporter late in the night. So I hope I get to find more about Miss Choi. Yes, please. If she's hiding anything, I hope we find out soon. She seems like a total gold digger, so I hope we will get her this time. I mean, to both. I, I swear, she is a gold digger. Even though she's like a famous actress? I don't know. Maybe she's not doing so well. <laughs> yeah. I hope we find it soon. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So if I can, I hope to pick up some speed on looking into her. Um, yes? What? What's up? Can't we just keep talking about my new role? <laughs> Zen, you're so needy. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Oh, never mind, lol. I feel a bit timid. Aw, oh, excuse me? Aw. <laughs> So let's go back to talking about glam. So Zen, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, I can't hate him. He knows he looks good, and I don't blame him for it. I would, I would, you know, I would be the same as him if I if I had his face. <laughs> so let's go back there. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't. I can't keep praising him. Let's go get back to talking about glam. That's some juicy gossip tea. OMG, I mean, I wasn't suggesting that you switch the subject. What? Uh, ah. I wasn't suggesting you switch the subject right away. Do you have anything else you want to tell us about your new role? No, never mind. I'm just, let's just finish talking about glam. And so, I think that wo that glam woman, she's, she's shady. Wants to do some business by playing around with people's feelings. I mean, I hope that's the case. I agree, I can't help but think that way. Uh huh. It's enough with Mr. Han Sr. in her hands. You're right. Uh, I can't understand why she's trying to get Mr. Han to marry one of her to marry one of her students. Yeah. To be honest, I hate a lot of things about that jerk. But this time, maybe I should support him a bit. Lol. Yes, Zen. Be a bro. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Let's support him together. You're in my hands now, Lol. Let's support him together. Yes, Hanny, why don't you try supporting me? <laughs> I always support you though, Zen. I support you too, Zen. Haha, <laughs> thank you. When have I never supported you, Zen? Jaehee, please tell me if there's anything I can do. Considering the situation, I'll make an exception. And try to help the next chairman in line. Really? Just this once? Okay. You're so gracious, Zen. Thank you, I will tell you if there's anything you can do. So, And I wish all the luck on your new role. I'm very excited for it. Yeah, me too. I'm happy for you. I feel like I had stumbled upon an oasis and missed my hectic schedule. Really, an oasis? I'm glad you thought so too. I'm glad you thought so, haha. -ha. So, I hope everything goes well with Jumin. I'll look forward to it too, ha. Huh? Yeah, I hope everything goes well with Jumin. Haha, <laughs> he's the one who's struggling the most here. We're talking about that trick again. Anyways, uh, I should go read the script now, lol. Okay. Off you go, work hard. I have to familiarize myself with the story and be prepared, just, act, just like a true actor should. That's great, yeah. I should get back to work as well. Okay, so Jehee, hang in there. Tell me if things get too hard. Yes, and take care. And you take care of yourself, Hanny. Okay? Yeah, I will. Send good luck with your new role. I'm so excited to see it. Yeah, I'm excited to see you acting in action. I'll have to work hard. Yes, the same here. Yes, I will look forward to your performance. That thanks. I'll be off. I'll get going as well. Okay, bye bye. Bye y'all. Work hard. Good luck with everything. Okay. Let's see, I think there was a story mode? Yes, there was a story mode, and we already got the 
the novel, the Romantic Novel Association Club already, so I'll answer those emails off screen as well. We can just do some. We can answer Jehi's text here. What she have to say? So let's see. Um. Uh, so I couldn't tell you earlier because Zen was there, but I was so shocked. Zen and Mr. Han were like water and oil. I thought I read wrong for him to say that, but I read it right. I mean, come on. He, he's not that heartless. Yeah, maybe Zen started to understand Jimin better. Don't you think it's because Jimin helped him figure out his character? No. Maybe Zen is starting to understand Jimin better, right? It's a good sign. It's a good sign. Okay, so what's up? I knew this would happen, Lolo. They're not leaving me alone. <laughs> My goodness. I can't get over that banner. <laughs> okay, so and then out of Aspen for my headaches. Oh no, Jayhee. Jayhee's out here struggling, man. Holy crap. Okay. So I don't know whose heart I earned with that. Oh, so it's, okay, yeah, cool. So I see. I think it's be it's possible because of you. He's shown many more sides of him while like, talking with you. I think that's what moves Zen. Aww. Wow. You guys make me out to be such a good person. Okay. Let's continue on. Let's see what the story mode is all about. It's Jimin, obviously. Let's see how he's handling things on his end. Cause he seems to he seems to really like threw himself into work. Okay. Is he in a meeting? What is this? If Jimin is so against it, I don't think we can force him into it, sweetheart. Okay. No, Glam's obviously going to be like, no, we have to somehow, some way. I'm very sorry that this isn't going your way. Jumin's an adult now, so he'll take care of himself. Don't be too disappointed. It's fine. I know how much you think of your son. Haha. <laughs> 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 okay. I can never, I can never tell when there's voice acting, when there's not voice acting. So I'm sorry if I read over them. I hope he knows that. Okay. I'm sure he knows on the inside. Well. <sighs> Why are you sighing? Tell me what's in your mind. My heart sinks when I hear you sigh. It's just that I really adore Sarah there. She goes, she's playing that card. She's like, oh, it's fine. But like, oh my God, like I can't, I can't help but wonder, you know, oh, it's going to make me so sad over it. I'm going to be sad over this. And then of course, you know, Mr. Choi, Mr. Mr. Han is going to be like, oh no, we must do something. If she isn't happy, I don't think I can be perfectly happy. Yep. Even if I marry you, ah, oh, I always feel bad about her. You really are such a kind woman. Oh my god, he's eating that shit up. <laughs> he is eating that shit up. What can I do? I can't help but try to help the ones I hold dear. Sarah does own Sugar Round, but she's not the most strong-hearted, and apparently some belittle her for being a woman. My heart aches every time I hear that. Don't cry. I feel torn apart when I see your tears. I'm sorry. I just feel so bad whenever I think of how hard it is for Sarah. <laughs> She's struggling so hard to keep the company that her father left her in. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm getting all teary-eyed. <laughs> I suppose it must be tough for that girl to maintain the business alone. No, God, God, my dude, you give him so easily. Yes, it would be much easier if Jimin just helps her a little, just a little, even just a little bit. But Jumin has never worked with food business before. I'm sure he'll learn very quickly. He's your son. That's true. A man who's smart and driven as Jumin would be able to put sugar round on top in a second. That sounds like a good opportunity for him. You're not wrong. You can only improve by taking on new challenges. That's exactly what I mean. I don't need money or fame or anything. I just want to be loved. I want to be loved. <laughs> And take care of those around me. I'd be so happy if everything works out for Sarah. She really means a lot to me. If there's anything I... Oh, if only there's anything you know you can do. I'm sorry. There's nothing for you to be sorry about. I'll, I'll try talking to him again so you can stop worrying. Yes. Okay. God, she's so... Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, all I need is your love and the uh, rights to your company. <laughs> so. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, you guys. Oh, Mr. Han. I, I don't know whether to feel sorry for him or to just pity him. Or just, no, not pity him or to just, I don't know. Or I just be indifferent to him because he's always getting into this kind of shit, according to Jumin. 
Like, will, will he never learn? Well, does he never learn? Okay, so oh my test is with Yusung and Seven. What's what's up? Did you bomb a test, Yusung? Is that it? What did you do? So Arg, what do I do? What do I do? What do you, what do you, what what's what's happening? Hi Seven. Hi. What's up, Yusung? What's up? What's what's the fuss? Why is this happening to me? Why why? Way, Lala, what's going on? So did Lala's server explode or something? Omg, don't even si don't even say that. I'm troubled enough already. Oh, so what's going on, Lala? So I in one hour. Oh, you have a test. Server maintenance? No, you have a test. Lala and server explodes. Lala, do you have a pop quiz or something? Lala, okay, I need to maybe I should get some hearts with seven. There you go. And the server explodes. <laughs> Under maintenance and then explodes. <laughs> oh. Don't do that to me. Oh. That's not it. Okay. Well then what what is? I'm gonna have a quiz. Apparently the professor told us it before. How come I didn't know about this? I'm so shocked right now. Oh that I can't oh. even study. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> lol lol. So dude, I thought something serious was was happening, lol. Just write whatever. I thought I thought uh, quizzes are super easy, yeah. Right, whatever. <laughs> well, it depends. When you see the question, you get the answer immediately. Just write that and leave. You get what you get Hello? that when you see the questions. Answer, yeah. You get what when you see the question. Answer, lol. So the answer. You just use your brain and write the answer, and then the prof will go like, "You are correct. Major uh, increase in likability." Yeah, of course that professor will tell you that. <laughs> depends on what quiz. You can bullshit your way through it. Seven, normal people don't have a skill like like that, haha. Uh, Seven, you're such a genius, yeah. Normal people don't have that skill, haha, <laughs> yeah. I'm not normal, so you're not normal. <laughs> I mean, how can you get the answer as soon as you see the question? I was oh, forgetting that you're a genius, so whatever. Whatever, how much is it worth? But first, do you remember the Lord of the Bracelet? Oh, well, of course I do. Do you know, Hanny? No, I don't. Lord of I know the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I don't. Oh, you mean that movie about the poor woman carrying Pratum bags? Uh, yeah, the one with the elf Gonzales. Gonzales. Ah, uh, the one with the elf. If I have anything to go by, yes. Yeah, that one. And Senorita. Senorita. Yeah, Gonzales' girlfriend. Huh? I know you're lying, Lala. So you got it, smart boy. So, but basic stuff. Yeah, basic stuff. The Lord of the Bracelets. You have elves, orcs, twisty legs, and short legs. Lala, what the heck? When they found the bracelet at last in the end, tears were streaming my eyes. Oh, is that about the book? My heart races just thinking about it. But what about that? La 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 la. So, so what? Did you? F oh yeah, I found someone similar to the Lord of the Bracelets. No way. Yes way. Found him. Yeah. Hell yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Omg. I think we got him before. So haha. -ha, someone like him. Someone like him. Really? Yes, who is that someone? He is, wait for it. Wait for it. Lord of Work Baskets. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I remember, I remember. Seven, yeah? So how the hell are they similar? So they aren't. Seven's just gibberishing as, like, always. They're both lords, all same class. <laughs> same class, I guess. So, yep, the lord title. Hello. I think we should have a lord in the party. Uh, why don't we invite him? Yes. I don't know who he is, but I guess it'll be fun. Lol. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yes. But seven, you had time. Um, lol seven, you really know a lot of people, lol. So, but seven, you had time to find the Lord of, of Work baskets, but not the hacker, huh? No. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> lol, lol, lol. So yeah. Seven's friends equals everyone in the internet. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of people. What? He's not your friend. He's just you. Just found him online. No comment, lol. So what? But what about the hacker, huh? You said you were looking for the hacker. What? You sound sharp. You sound sharp all of a sudden. Yes, I honestly think that he's after you. No one's attacked you right yet, right? I, I have a three-layer security system. No need to worry. Well, that's good. But I'm more worried about Hanny. It has everything been okay, Hanny? Yeah, I mean it's been quiet. I'm not okay. There are people out there who want to take Jumin for themselves. So I'm fine. Nothing strange happened to you, I hope. So that's good. I'm totally fine. Okay, so the security guards are bringing me a lot of attention. Yes. But so I've actually been enjoying it, lol. So lol lol lol. Yes. <laughs> Pretending to be like Jumin now? Lol. <laughs> Wand sign. No, I don't have that rich person vibe. But how long do you think they'll have to follow me? I don't know. Seven, you know the answer, right? Until you get a girlfriend? <laughs> Until you get a girlfriend? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Lol lol lol. <laughs> lol. 
You, they might have to follow you around until you die. That's not true. Someday I'll meet someone who loves me. Lol. Seven. Just catch the hacker. You said you're enjoying the bodyguards. Lol. But still, uh, the hacker thing has get, has got ah. The hacker thing has to get solved if I want to have fun at the party. Ha and Hanny's safety is on the line here. Yeah, I guess everyone feels pretty down. Feels pretty down right now. Yes. Why do you bother to ask? I hope we find out who it is soon. Yes. I hope so. So, sorry for making you worried, but let it go from now on. Let it all go from now on. Oh, you found something? I severed. Yes, with the detective skills as good as hot, 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 hot Sherlock. Hot Sherlock? Don't tell me the hot Sherlock. The hot Sherlock. I found out the hacker HQ. Yes, we already know. Heart quivering? Oh, really? We already know where it is. It's mint eyes. Mwahaha. No one can escape. Seven. My radar. What do you mean, HQ? Yes, you really don't know? Yes, uh, HQ, Eagle's headquarters. Wow, yes. Uh-huh, you, you found where the hacker is. Yes, but how can a college student not know what HQ stands for? It's been a while since I read a book, but it's... Everyone knows what HQ stands for without having to read a book. Okay, <laughs> damn, Yusung. To all of those reading this, if you get addicted to games, you might turn out stupid like Yusung here. So read a lot of books and enjoy other hobbies. Yeah, he's right. Anyway, Seven, you know who it is. Is it a group of people? What do they do? If it's a huge group, what do they want? Wow, you type fast. Answer me. God, Seven. Uh, that is a secret. Hurry up. Just hurry up. Uh, hurry up. Oh, <laughs> Even uh, seven, don't uh, mess around. Okay, oh, well, it's so secret. All. Yes, he spelled out secret. So what? I can't pop. I can't read properly. Secret. What? Stop joking. I might really. I might get really angry if you keep doing this. I want to do it more if it's going to make you angry. <laughs> Guys, so that's your taste. Don't mess with him too much. So that's your taste. <laughs> seven, don't come near me. <laughs> we are currently about. 10.583 kilometers away from each other. Feel safe? Yeah, a bit. Just wait. I'll tell you when things are more settled. I still have to, I still have more uh, some more things to look into. Really? Yeah, they seem to be pretty skilled, so I have to take a take a much a more careful approach. Yeah, it's always good to be careful. Oh, I uh, got called. It's a lot about the hacker. No, my usual intelligence work. You're doing two jobs at the same time. Yes, he is. Yeah, seven. Catch them both. I hope you get at least one thing done. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, <sighs> I'll try my best, so I will get back to work. Hang in there. Toodles! Okay. Seven seems to be just as busy as Jaehee, but I'm glad <laughs> that he's seen progress. Yeah. You should go study too. <laughs> Things are so complicated right now. Seven's, got, Seven's really good at what he does, but he seems to like joking around a lot. Haha. <laughs> Things are really complicated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on, but Jaehee's helping Jumin out and Seven's taking care of the hacker, so I think everything will be fine soon. Are you sure? Maybe I should start wearing sunglasses tomorrow to enjoy my time uh, with the security guards. Lol. <laughs> so I think you'll look cute in it. Haha. <laughs> so if your sunglasses aren't from Dior, then don't die your Dior. Don't, then don't bother to wear it. <laughs> I mean... It's a, I mean, I can't encourage him. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a heart with you and Dior. Uh, so first, I should check if he, I even have sunglasses. Oh, uh, oh, I should get going. I hope the security guards can follow me to the library. So you're not playing Lolo, You gave it up. So are you going to study for your quiz? Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Yep. Okay. Okay, dogs. I won't be able to write the answer as soon as I see the question, but I should at least try to try so that I understand them. Then I'll get going. Okay. I don't want to be too. I don't want to give too snobby of an answer because I no no. Jumin, I have. I feel like Jumin's had enough of that in his life. People just kind of like flaunting their wealth willy nilly. Okay, so it's just another story mode. So let's see what this is about. What's wrong? What's up, Jumin? What's happening on your end? Okay, what is this? Is this his dad trying to talk to Jumin? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Go away. Okay, so yes. I, or he's in a meeting, yeah. So first, I hope none of you have objections to me leading the meeting today. So yes, usually this is the general manager's job, but I want to check the performance results myself. I brought together directors from other departments as well. Look at him work. Oh my god, Mr. CEO here. So, well, not really, but like, you know, he's director, Mr. Director here. I'm sure you will be aware. I'm sure you will all be aware of the strengths and weaknesses of your respective departments. If you haven't prepared anything, please start taking notes now. 
First, out of all the branches, the fashion department seems to be showing the deficit, but the industry itself seems to be prospering. Do you have any explanations for this? Oh, I didn't bring the materials. I would have prepared it if you gave me a notice beforehand. Then please write up an explanation report and submit it to Assistant Kang. Is two days enough? Yeah, two days? Yeah. Is it too long? I thought so. No, two days is good. <laughs> Damn, he's like really, he's like laying it down. So Assistant Kang, got it? Yeah. Yes, I made a note. Alright, so alright, next agenda. The department responsible for exporting electronics to China. Is the representative here? Mr. Han, I think someone's here. Uh-oh, who is it? We'll take care of it after the meeting. And it's Glim Choi, or it's Mr. Han, his dad. His dad? Who told you to come in? Or is it Sarah? <laughs> it's Sarah. God. So, oh, Juin, you're here. Well, yes, you would have known if, because, you know, you entered in the right room. Who is she? Yeah. What? Sorry for the late introduction. I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Don't say fiancé. You don't think the chairman's already... Uh, nah, the story just went out. I heard he gave an interview this morning. Oh my god, this shit disturbing wench. <laughs> We're in a meeting. Please be quiet, everyone. Yeah, why are you interrupting a meeting? This is a business meeting, Sarah. You can just wait outside. Jimin, good to see you again. Ha, huh? so this is your assistant. Him, she looks average. That's not... Uh, you're not Miss Choi's student, are you? She is. Oh, I guess Jimin already told you about me. No, she just did a little snooping. She did a little background check. Jimin, who, is the who in the world is she? Mr. Han doesn't look happy at all. No, he doesn't. We can't afford another scandal. The food department will be dead. So everyone seems surprised to see me. I'll just be here listening quietly. He's just like, no. Mr. Han, what should we do? Should we continue the meeting? No, you're exposing her to company trade secrets. This is this is confidential. All right. Oh, oh no, he's here. Ugh, proceed. Dang it, it's his dad. God, I knew this would happen. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Uh, sit down, I apologize for the interruption. It's nothing, you must be very busy. What brings you here? Sarah will, be, Sarah will soon be part of, the, part of our family, so I thought she should participate in an important meeting like this. She will not be part of our family. Yeah, exactly. Who said that? Who sa says who? Who died and made you king here? What do you mean? Yeah. Do not be like this in front of all the executives. Don't you know what's best for the company? Do you intend to keep being rude? Well, this is a private matter that needs to be discussed privately. So, like, why why are you bringing it in here? If not to cause shit. Shut up, Sarah. Sarah, you, you have no business being here. Okay. Sarah, first sit down. Yeah. And Giselle. <laughs> You're the one being rude, bringing in an outsider to a meeting where we're discussing private company matters. Exactly. Did you sign a confidential did she sign a confidentiality contract before coming in? Mr. Han gave me a short notice, so I didn't have time to sign one. I'm sure you're surprised I wanted to see you so bad. I practically ran here. I want to look more pretty. That's not the point. If you didn't sign no contract about keeping your confidentiality with what goes on this business meeting, then I'm sorry, you cannot be here. It's the policy. You can't. You need to leave. You didn't bring Glam Choi with you, did you? So, Jimin, this is my company. I don't have to care about such small rules. Sir, I don't care. That's like, what's the point of running a company if you're not gonna follow the rules? I see. I'm disappointed that you think the uh, that you think the company is your personal property. I will have to break off this meeting to protect the company's secrets. Yes, good call, Jumin. Jumin, true CEO here. This is true king shit here. So how? Are... Oh, insolent! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no. Everyone, gather your documents. I'm sorry that that you came such a long way to witness an embarrassing family feud. I will reschedule the meeting soon. Assistant Kang, wrap it up. Yes. Yeah. And Sarah, you get the hell out of here. Jimin, no. From now on, get a visitor's pass from the first lob from the first floor lobby. People might think you're a peddler and kick you out. Oof. Oh, aren't you being too rude? I'm soon to be your fiance. Oh no, she said it out loud. Everyone's still here. They're gonna start talking now. Uh oh. And Mr. Chairman, if you want to arrange a marriage for me, please send me the resumes of your candidates. 
Jimin, how could you say that in front of me? Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. Well, who who gave you the the pass? Like not 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 me, not me. And Jimin, Jimin's the one you need to get the approval from. So, whatever, it don't doesn't matter what Mr. Chairman says. If this is for the company's best interest, I'll have to choose the most qualified person. I I I assume you'll at least give me that right. Yeah, you need to watch your mouth. So can't you see that this is for your own good? No, you're still young, so you don't know what you're doing. You can't live your life for yourself. <laughs> What's wrong with living a life for yourself, huh? Who's gonna live life for you if not for yourself? So I guess that's why you're always with someone. Ah, uh, haha, that's not very nice. Well, it's spitting facts, so I'm just saying, is he wrong? But is he wrong? <laughs> Okay, you're overestimating yourself. I'll stop it here today since Sarah's with us, but it breaks my heart to see you like this. He's like, I don't feel so good either. Uh, I respected your opinion on all the women you brought here. No matter how inappropriate they seem to me, you looked happy with them. But you can be happy too once you get to know Sarah. <laughs> no. I think whatever you want, I'll be leaving. Bye. Peace. Bye bye. Out. Peace out. Jimin out. Jimin out. J Jim out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That just ruined everything. <laughs> I know it's a serious matter, but I'm sorry. I can't help it. Anyways, um, 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 what are we doing here? Okay, so let's check up on a couple of messages here, and then we can move on to kind of completing the rest of the day. So drum roll, please. I don't know. Well, drum roll for what? And you son's GPA, whatever. I don't know. I hate you, professor. See you again next year. Oh no. I assume the test, the quiz didn't go so well. <laughs> okay, so seven texted. What's the, what's he got? What's he uh? What's up, my dude? So whoa. Okay. Um. Okay, so an hour in the east, an hour in the west. Here in the day, there in the night. Sometimes a cool secret agent, and other times a cute hacker. I seven oh seven will tell you how to have two jobs at once. I don't want two jobs. <laughs> I know the answer. I'm going to borrow the strength from Seven who lives on a different planet. I know the answer. Amazing time management and efficiency. Yes. Right. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Anyways. Okay. So let's move on and try to finish up. Try to finish up on this. How many chats? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I think we can finish it up on, on day six. Okay, so no, never mind. Actually, seven replied, so we can just do this first, real quick, real quick. Let's see what this reply is. Okay, let's see. So, oh, lol, that's what most people would do to have two jobs. But what I do is so, so, so far away, like galaxies away, so it won't work. The seven in the planet cat that's in a different galaxy of different dimensions helps me so that I can have two jobs. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, let's continue. Sixth day, let's go. So the next conversation is with Yu Sung, another shock. What do you mean? What did you hear? Is it the whole rumors about Sarah this time barging into Jumin's meeting? Okay. Ah, Jichineo. I'm doomed, I was expecting it, but ah, oh, he failed, he bombed it, I was crushed. You should have studied beforehand. You should have studied beforehand. Just saying. I don't know how you managed to like miss out on that. He just said that all I have to do is to come to lectures, uh, but I guess I never listened. Uh, Jay's here, oh, Jay, you're here. You sung, Hanny, hello, hello, hello. How's Jumin? I heard shit went down. <laughs> I came here to talk about that. What should I- what should we do? Uh, why? Did something happen? Sure. Yes, Mr. Han made an exception and led the meeting today. Yep. And Sarah came into the meeting room. Who's Sarah? Oh yes, the woman Mr. Han is supposed to marry. What? OMG, it's quite shocking. What's more is... yeah. He- she brought the chairman with her. OMG, sure. yeah. Goosebumps, yes. Is that even possible? Yeah, well, yeah, Mr. Han Sr. can do whatever he wants. Exactly. That's a bit sad after saying that. Yeah, <laughs> but still. <laughs> yeah, anyways, the meeting was broken off. Uh huh. And, uh, and Mr. Han and the chairman argued in front of all the executives. Yep, OMG. I almost couldn't breathe because of the tension. Yeah, it's pretty, it was pretty bad. <laughs> and everyone returned looking, and everyone returned looking as if their soul was sucked out. <laughs> I would too. I'm so worried about Jimin. Holy shit, he's very private about his feelings. So he looks fine on the outside. 
uh, but I'm very worried as well. Uh, so all in all, it was a shit show. <laughs> the woman named Sarah ruined the whole meeting? Yes. Yes, she did. Oh my god. The ones who saw the most damage, however, are the chairman and his son. I think their relationship has hit rock bottom. Oh shit, OMG. I feel like this is all because of Glam Choi. Yeah, I think the same, and I think he went way overboard this time. There's nothing you can do, the one who gets the man first wins the game. No. Mr. Chairman is usually very sensible. Yeah, like he... <laughs> but when a woman gets involved, the switch goes off inside him. Oh, Jimin said that often, but... But this time, it's different. <laughs> I think he crossed the line this time when he brought her into the meeting room. Yeah, I mean, and all our efforts to gather the executives came to nothing. Uh, and they basically had a family fight in front of them. Yeah, that, yeah, right? Like, that's so irresponsible. So besides, how could he bring an outsider when we're discussing classified family matters? Oh. That cla classified company <laughs> matters. Oh my god. Family matters and company matters. Either way, Sarah shouldn't have been there. God, I can't believe Mr. Han allowed this to happen. Yeah. All this would be solved if I just get Mr. Han to like me. So yeah, it's as if he treated Jimin like a little boy. Right, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> so I mean I, I mean even considering that he really love that he really that he's really in love with that glam woman, how could he bring Jimin's fiance into the meeting? She's not his fiance, she's someone Miss Choi wants to make Mr. Han's fiance. Oh right. How is Jimin doing? Well, he's been working like always after the meeting. He's really something. I envy his mental strength. Right. I do too. Jesus. He's making everyone get back to work as if nothing happened. I'm sure it's suffocating. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and I hope no one talks about it. Jeez. He must be tormented on the inside though. He just doesn't know how to express it. That's my man. No, he's just... I'm sure he's angry. Jesus. I think anyone would be tormented in that situation. I would never uh, want to argue with my family so publicly. Yes. Yeah. I have to get going. And considering all the stakes and reputation that they have at risk too. Mr. Han wanted me to collect some reports after the meeting, so I must go organize them. You mu you seem to always have work to do. Well, I'm used to it now. Uh-huh. Uh, I can only hope that I don't have to involve my emotions. I'll get going. Okay. Damn. So cheer up and I hope everything works out for Jumin. So, ba bye! Say hello to Jumin for me. Jehee, hang in there. Say hello to Jumin. Tell him to cheer up. I don't know if he'll want to listen to me, but I'll try. Aw, perhaps your hello might cheer him up a little. Bye. Okay, so Mr. Han. Yeah, and my professor with the pop quiz. Yeah, everyone's being so harsh. Uh, why would musicians practice before shows? Uh, because that's the only way they can play well. Oh, okay. The sudden analogy. So whatever it is, if it's important, you need to know before. You need to know about it before. Yes. Be better prepared. I'm really worried about Jumin. Not the best comparison, but I get what you mean. I'm really worried about Jumin. Like, he needs to- he needs somebody to confide in. Me too. More so since you can't really tell what he's thinking, right? I feel like he- I feel like you do a good job of cheering him up. Aw, thanks. I hope he comes around- I hope he comes here when you're around. I should go. Rest my brain. Then I- so then- so that I can forget about that quiz. I will head off to the peaceful world Lolo. Haha, <laughs> same. <laughs> Shouldn't you start studying? Good luck. Shouldn't you start studying or grab the rare monster? No. I can't get hearts with him. I can't encourage him like this. Well, people say that you normally fail pop quizzes because you get nervous, haha. <laughs> of course it's an excuse. Then I'll get going later. Okay. Damn, Jimin. Jimin, talk to me. We haven't talked to Jimin in so long. I know he's busy and all, but like... Damn. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Speak of him. Speak of the devil. Fathers, yes. Let's talk to him. Oh my god, Jimin, talk to me. Talk to me, Jimin. What is happening? Tell me your secrets and tell me your troubles. Honey, you are here. Good. Yes, I'm here, Jumin. I'm here for you. Jumin, I was worried. I heard that what happened with your father. Jumin, do something about your dad. Yeah, I heard what happened with your father. Jeez, what a mess. Assistant Kang explained the gist of it, I see. Yeah. And it was uh, pretty messy. I feel like nothing's been going the way it's supposed to today. What do you call this feeling? Upset? Yes. Yes. Go to a therapist. They're expensive, but they can't have help. Of course you're upset. Are you really okay? Yeah, it's okay to be upset. If you ask, I have no choice but to say I'm fine. No, that's not... Since I don't want to make you amused. No! To be honest, this is very amusing. <laughs> Jimin, the fact that I said I am upset. I mean... My, I would never try to reveal my emotions. This isn't like me. To make an excuse... Uh-huh. 
You've been drinking? Something important to me. something important is troubling me. <laughs> what? What is? A lot of people say that I seem like I that I seem like I don't care about anything. Yeah, no, that's not true. But that's because most most things aren't most things around me aren't important to me. I don't consider them important, so I don't waste my feelings on them. But uh, Elizabeth the Third, RFA, and my father. Damn, these three are different. These are important to me. Ah. I mean, I totally get it too. Yeah, like why, why waste your, waste your time, getting worked up over things that like, that mean nothing to you. He's got a point. He does have a point. And it's true also uh, the fact that like you know he's not com that doesn't mean that he's completely emotionless about everything. So since I'm a member of the RFA, I'm important too. So then you can marry someone in the RFA. Ha ha ha. No. Am I important too? The other one seems a little too forceful. <laughs> you can put it that way. Since you are listening to me talking like this. I'm not here to judge you, okay? Let's say you are a bit special to me. Ah, you know, I really like my father. Well, yeah. Like he, for all he's worth, like he's a really like savvy businessman. You know, for him to get to where he is now. You know, women aside. When I was young, he always forgave me when I made mistakes. Not just my father, but the nanny, maid, gardener, my father's girlfriend. Everyone forgave me. Everyone has. Everyone was kind to me, regardless of whether I was good or bad. And at one point, I started hating my sheltered life. It was all the same and boring. I under. I could understand that. Uh, I thought from when I was very little that compliments or signs of happiness were just part of our routine. Oh no. I wish I could have grown up in a house like that. Oh, That's why you think expressing your emotions is meaningless since you always get the same, got the same response. It makes sense. Yes, at one point I found myself not giving any compliments or signs of gratitude. Just like the expressions others show me are meaningless. Uh huh. Uh, I thought it didn't matter to other- I th uh, Just like the expressions others show me are meaningless, I thought it didn't matter to the other person what I expressed. But as I grew up, I realized everyone else except my father was nice to me to be in good terms with me. But my father said nice things to me because I was his son. Uh-huh. Because he loved me so much. Aww, yeah. Aww, my father had no reason to use me. Until this point. I already had so much- He already had so much more than me. Right. Uh huh. That's why I liked my father. I believe that everything he said was sincere. I realized that my father and I have lots in common. P there will always be people. Uh, there will always be people around us. Uh, we there will always be there will always be people around us. We will have that much responsibility, and our lives will be that lonely. And at times, we will feel this kind of emptiness that has no source. The feeling that you are utterly and perfectly alone even when you are surrounded by people, only my father and I understood. Right, because they live in a very different world. So I never denied my father's gestures to become closer to me. Uh, we give each other's gifts, we give each other gifts, dine together, and go traveling. Right, it's like, it's like being famous, you know, like no one, no one really knows what struggles and what, you know, hardships you go through if you're famous, unless you're famous too. So I still I still think that he likes women more than you. It's good that you are you had such a wonderful father, right? You sound like such a nice man. Thank you for saying that even in this situation. Uh, uh, I know that he did the best he could as my father. I know that, but while growing up, uh huh, when I saw that my father always changed companions, yeah, that was troubling. <laughs> That was troubling, but like, you know, I realized that the emptiness my father feels is more complicated than mine. Right, okay, yeah. So I never liked his girlfriends, but I didn't say anything because he realized that like, his father's trying to fill some kind of void. <laughs> my father and I were simply different in that aspect. Like, yeah, so of course it was very difficult to tolerate all of them trying to flatter me. Uh-huh. I knew that my father was growing more fond of women the older he, the older he got, but... I really didn't expect things to get this far, right? He was like he he left him alone with his womanizing ways because it's like it's his way of like coping with like that emptiness. Like Juman understands that because he feels the same way except for him it's just that he doesn't really he copes with it better and he basically throws himself in work and cat projects to fill that void. But now now it's gotten it's it's kind of like it's going it's going too far. You love your father but hate him at the same time. It must be hard. Just rebel against your father now. Say no to the arranged marriage. He already says no to the arranged marriage, girl. <laughs> That's exactly right. 
Uh, to be honest, I don't want to put up a fight with my father. This is a family business. Right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, if I didn't respect my father, the company wouldn't run properly. Uh, but I'm very confused right now. Right. Because I don't think- I don't like that I have to go against him. Like, yeah. Do you feel like you've reached a dead end? Don't think about it too much. People who are rich like you, you can just say no. Well, that's not so simple. Money- Money solves a lot of problems, but money doesn't solve everything. Yes, yeah. I mean, it, it feels like I totally get it. If it does, it definitely does feel like he's at a he's stuck in a hard ro between a rock and a hard place. I can't think of how to get through the situation wisely. I really want to understand my father, but I can't even understand how men can feel less lonely by being with women. To me, women are always unnecessary. If you know anything. If you know anything, yeah, about what men and women feel towards each other, please explain it to me. Ah, uh, well, so that I can understand my father. It's just that, okay, it's just that he doesn't, he, he hasn't met the right woman. The woman who doesn't care about his wealth, and the woman who tr actually tries to understand him, and, you know, take care of him, and not have any other underlying motives and agendas, hidden agendas. First, give me the chance to meet you, lol. I know I can do it. So I don't think you can understand just because I explain it to you and there's no set answer. You learn it through, yeah. You learn it through your heart, yes. Learn it through your heart, yes. I see. I find this pathetic. <laughs> it's like feelings. Ugh. I gotta get in touch with my feelings. I can't believe I talked about my feelings in my childhood. Hanny, even if I sound pathetic, even if I sounded pathetic, please don't laugh at me. No! I would never! I would never! It doesn't suit you to be sentimental. I'm actually glad that I got to hear your inner thoughts, right? I'm glad. Really? I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you're expressing your inner thoughts to me. I hope to hear some of your thoughts someday. We've talked to, we've talked enough about me. Surprisingly, I feel quite better. Right? That's what I'm saying. Talk it through. It will make you feel better. I'm sorry for going on about my personal life. I would like to go organize my thoughts. Yeah, go ahead. Go right ahead. I'll be waiting to talk to you again. Rest up. Jaehee seemed like she was too busy to even take a break. No. Rest up. Yeah. Waiting for me? Yeah. Yes. I always wait for you. I will always wait for you, Jimin. So, I don't know when I'll come back, but thank you for listening to me today. I'll get going then. Have a good evening, honey. Aww. Ah! <laughs> I feel so bad for him. He's having such a hard time. Okay. There we go. So, there's our first conversation with Jimin after so long. Jesus, it's his route, but like he's been... A well, he's gone MIA for like the longest time. Okay. Oh, he texts. <gasps> he texts. Okay. Gotta answer. Gotta answer the text. Okay. What's up, Jimin? Talk to me. Talk to me some more. Okay. What did he say? Um. 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 um, um. I end up talking about. I end up talking about so many things in front of you. I'm still. Uh, surprised by it. I left. I left the chat room, but I couldn't help but think. Ha but think, I have lingering feelings. I tried to organize my thoughts, but I keep thinking of you. I was very impressed. But what you said about learning each other's hearts through conversation. Aww, he's thinking about me. That's so cute. So you really don't know how. The, you really don't know the rules of love. I'll tell you how it works. I can help you until you find your own answer, right? I can help you until you find your own answer. It's all up to you, Jimin. I have faith in you. This is this is a you experience. It's all about you, okay? I'm only here to support you. I'm not here to impose my beliefs on you. La la la. What are you laughing about, Zen? Why are you laughing? Don't make fun of. Why are you? Why is everybody laughing? What is? What's happening here? Don't make fun of Jimin for getting all like sappy in this chat room. Come on, come on, guys. Ah, so uh, all contracts must have a clear and. All contracts must have a clear start and an end date. One without set period con one without set period counts as an unfair contract. I'm aware of that, but still, I want you to sign that contract and just stay with me. <gasps> wow! <laughs> wow! That's that's I. Wow, Jimin! Jimin, you have a way with words. I just my heart just went. Oh my god, Shinkum! My heart went Shinkum! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, here's not Jimin's diary. It's the next conversation with 
Zen is 7, guys, please don't make fun of him. Don't be like that. Don't be so immature. Okay, okay, cool. So we're starting off very somber. Okay, cool, cool. Zen, the most perfect looking human in this world, has come to here has come here to take a break after hours of script reading, and there he found an old diary. Finding the initials JMH on the cover, he opens it, and he finds a diary of a boy full of emotions. The world the words were all blurry due to the tears he shed. It was so very touching. Well Guys come on come on don't tease Jimin Jimin don't tease him Jimin's having a really hard time Still la 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 Jimin got seriously sentimental today I can't lose this Hello. chance to make fun of him No guys guys come on be nice We're a good duo I almost want to do a high five <laughs> Jimin told us not to laugh at him, but I feel oh. like we did. Yeah, you did. We weren't laughing at him, we're teasing him. Well, same thing, lols. Anyways, it's, a, it's surprising. Yeah, I guess that dude has emotions too. <laughs> yeah, we all do. Aren't you worried? Just imagine how frustrated he must have been. It's not really like him, lol. Being sort of detached was, was one of his charms. No. Yeah, imagine how he felt. I mean, I shouldn't say this after making fun of him, lol. But seeing Jimin act like that, I feel a bit worried. Yeah, I don't feel so good either. Why is he being so weird like that? Feels less like a jerk now. <laughs> yeah, he likes. let's be serious here. You serious? Yeah, serious. Yeah, serious. There's something wrong with you too. Yes, let's be serious. Yes, we should. Okay, Zen? <laughs> Just act like you normally would. Okay. Uh, honestly, I really thought that maybe Jim is a robot, since he never shows his emotions. Though it was pretty convincing. Thought it was pretty convincing. Didn't you? Didn't you start the rumor that Jay he's a robot before? Right? Jim is not a robot. The way I see it, he feels everything. Jay he seriously feels like a robot sometimes. No. Jim is not a robot. Okay. Yeah, I agree for today. Maybe feels too much. Lol. lol. To be honest, until now. Jimin seemed to lack, to lack emotion, so I was going to tell him about the Emotional Labor Association. <laughs> a group of people who claimed to be the best at, ex at emotional labor, lol. Thought that might help Jimin feel, feel something, lol. But seeing what he said just now, I doubt he's a robot. Uh, sometimes you amaze me with your imagination, but what oh. do I do? What? What? Yeah. What, what are you worried about? So I asked them to blow some emotions into Jimin Robot. But they told me to just leave it to that. them. So, but he's not a robot. Oh, should we invite them? Should we invite them to party? Yes. I don't like that you thought of Jimin as a robot, but let's invite them. Yeah. Okie dokie. He might just be temporarily human. Lol. We should invite them for sure. It's so come to think of it, that woman, Glam Choi, she's quite something in one sense. Lol. What do you mean? She managed to pull out some emotions from Mr. Director. Amazing. What do you. I hate that woman, Jimin's mind, she should leave him alone, no emotions, though. not good emotions though, not good emotions though. If you don't think, if you did, if you think about it, Hanny did too, ah, if you think about it, Hanny did too. Of course, they were two different kinds of emotion. If Glam Choi induced anger, Hanny, how should I say it, induced vulnerability, <laughs> yes, right, lol, la, la. besides, Jimin's pretty nice when he talks to Hanny, yeah, but, forget about Glam Choi, what, what about me? <laughs> That woman Sarah can't be your average girl either. Yeah, must be thick-skinned. Must be thick-skinned. Never knew she'd barge into the room, into the meeting room, just thinking Mr. Chairman would, bra would back her up. Yeah, didn't she expect Jimin to hate it? I know, this is reality, not a soap opera. But what about huh? her company, Sugar Round? Nah, that's not. Uh, it is. Cream Round. It is? It is, yeah. Sugar Round, it is, yeah. I think it's Sugar Round. Yeah. Uh, answer is Sugar Round. Yes. Yeah, we already know that. Uh, I want to tie your hands so you can't type. Sorry, I'll try to play around less. Uh huh. So, so do you know anything about that company? Nah, I only have one body, so I'm and I'm chasing the hacker. So while trying to do work for the intelligence agency, yeah, I guess that's what you have to focus on now. For now, exploitation. Shut up. You make a lot more. You make a lot of money for that. <laughs> It's shady, but you make money. Anyways, I don't know how great that sugar company is, but Jumin's troubled. But Jumin's in trouble. Yeah, he must be frustrated. When you are frustrated, cleaning is the best. What's all this all of a sudden? What is all this all of a sudden? <laughs> cleaning? Seven, you never clean. You have a freaking maid. Yeah, lol. Nah, I do. 
House cleaning equals Miss Vanderwood, my baby's cleaning seven. You mean car washing? Yeah. <laughs> I see. So, to be honest, I'm jealous of your cars. I want a King Borghini too. Like, that's what they call it in this world? <laughs> Do you have to drive somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere? Where? I'm gonna drive my baby. Even if I ask you where you're going, I'm not gonna answer, lol. Fine, whatever. Familiar. You wash your car by hand? Of course. Why? Because... I need it to, you know, the, the care and love, you know? I can't allow another man or ma I can't allow another man or machine touch my baby. Yes, man. I just sound like the male lead in a TV show. You just sounded crazy. You just sounded sexy. No. Seven, can you not refer to your cars as babies? It sounds weird. <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> but they are my babies. <laughs> Should I call them my sweeties? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Anyways, I have to take I have to take good care of my babies. Well, then I'll go wash them. Okay, go ahead. Okay, bye. Bye then. Adios. Okay, he didn't even Hello. wait for me to say goodbye, so I should work out and go to sleep. Okay. Anyways, I did make fun of the director, dude, but I hope he cheers up. Uh, I had trouble with my family too. Right, so you should understand then. It's not that I don't understand what he's going through. Yeah, exactly. So Juma's noble and perfect, he'll take care of himself. No need to worry. So it would really help Jumin if you be a bit more honest with him. What kind of trouble, right? Be nicer, be more honest to him. Lol, lol, lol. So if I'm more honest than I'm now, Jumin and I might end up fighting all night. <laughs> I'm not that, it's not that I understand him completely, but I hope things go well this time. I'd like to help if I can. I'll go and work out now, okay. Okay, I'll have to think of ways to help Jumin. Make sure, yeah. I'll have to think of ways to help Jumin. Okay. He's a lucky man. Aww. He's a lucky man to have someone worrying for him like this. I'll get going. Have a good evening. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Okay. So there's that. So we have the... Okay, so let's actually... I know we only have two conversations left, but I th I feel like I'm running over on time. I'll just do the story mode real quick, and then we can wrap things up. But this story mode is a J here this time, which is a surprise. A surprise, because usually we get it with Jumin. Let's see. What's going on? What's up? What's happening? Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. Is it at her house? His house? Who is it? Oh, it's her house. Okay. It better not be Sarah. It better not be Sarah. I swear to God, if it's Sarah. Ah. Why are there so many of Juma's security guards at an assistant's house? Sarah, you need to back off. You don't know what. You don't need to stick your nose in other people's business. How strange. Oh, why is she here too? What is. Oh no, are they gonna try to set her up? Oh no. Yeah, what's happening? Jehi, where are you? Yeah, oh, who are you? Yeah. You don't know me. Oh my my god, you saw me with my sweetheart before. Glam Choi, why are you here? And Sarah, yeah. How did you know where I live? That's shady. Yeah. It's all in the art it's all in the HR files. <gasps> that is that's that's for grounds of something le like illegal. That's for grounds of like getting sued <laughs> you can't just rifle through hr files like that that's confidential information i suppose you have access to those files when you're not supposed to <laughs> everything's possible if the chairman's got your back oh my but still like i even if it's the chair even if he's the chairman it's like you can't you can't go through people's hr files like this for personal reasons it only has to be on like some per like some reasonable grounds like it's an emergency or something you can't just give these people information willy-nilly yes i'm aware i saw very good proof of that earlier so oh my you're pretty rude i wish you'd be nicer a woman has to seem kind like me you know haha <laughs> you know <laughs> no anyways i heard you work closest to Jumin. i thought i should come say hello as his future wife can you stop saying that you're not his future wife is that so well i suppose we could say hello hello okay goodbye <laughs> i wish my Jumin would be this funny all the men in that family seem to lack a sense of humor i apologize but i have a lot work i have a lot of work to do so please tell me what you need from me all right i'll get straight to the point 
I hear that Jimin trusts you a lot. Uh oh. You two aren't you two aren't in a relationship, are you? I have no obligation to share my personal life with you. Yeah, my personal life with you, but I suppose I can give you a tip. Mr. Han doesn't even like to hear my voice outside the office. Really? Then good. Guess Jimin knows that business is just business. I like that part of him. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you're an exception. I wanted to tell you from the beginning that but you look like a really good employee. Yeah, you look like you 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 look like all you do is work. Yeah, what else do you need from me? One more question. Is there any other woman that Jimin is fond of? Oh. <laughs> Another woman. Another personal question. I don't know if I can answer it. Yeah. My sweetheart gave me permission, so don't be shy and just tell me. This is on violations of so many like <sighs> I don't, uh... Mr. Han spends most of his time caring for his pet, so I doubt he has any other women in mind. Oh, I see. Yeah. I do remember there was a cat at his house. A cat? Why would you pick up a cat? Well, it wasn't a street cat. It looked more like the expensive kind. I wore a new dress that day, so it wasn't good. It was really expensive. I don't know why he bothers when you get fur all over the place. Gosh, then you really don't know Jimin. And he's not gonna marry you now that you said shit about his cat, so... <laughs> I'll have to get rid of it after we get married. I can't stand for getting all over my clothes. Oh, he will not stand for that. He'd rather divorce you than get rid of his cat. <laughs> well, much less if you, if you get lucky enough to even get married to him, which I highly doubt, no. But I'm just saying, like, he would rather, he would rather move to a different country, avoid you altogether, than get rid of his cat. Nothing works like, nothing works like duct tape when you get, when getting rid of all the fur. What? Stroking them out with the rep with the wet rubber gloves is a good way too. You didn't suggest him to you didn't suggest him to raise a cat, did you? No. Absolutely not. Anyways, there is no way that Mr. Han will give up his cat, right? Over his dead body. Uh-huh. I apologize to cut off the conversation, but I have work to do. Please excuse me. Have a safe trip back. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. God, interrupting my day. What? Him, that- yeah. Bisodu Butungi Anine. Andegeta. Ilten, Kisabuto Totri Gesso. Oh no, she gonna bring up some like old rumors like, oh yes, the assistant Kang is in a relationship with Jumin, suspected. Yeah. Oh my god, she's so bratty, I hate her. Mr. Han seemed trouble, so I didn't Mr. Han seemed trouble, so I didn't on purpose, but it seems like we have no choice but to go through with it. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave it here for today. I know we're almost done with the 6A, but again, I feel like we are just like. It's it's kind of I'm I'm running over time on this because I didn't want to make it too long of an episode and then I have to do an awkward cut. So Jay is like Mr. Han, please call me when you see this. Yes, please, Mr. Han, Mr. Han. I was harassed. <laughs> I was harassed by them two ladies, them two witches at my door interrogating me, and I feel like they're plotting something, which they are. I don't know what I don't know what Glam Choi is talking about, what story to leak. Better not be the one that concerns maybe Jumin again. Jaehee has already mentioned that she's she's more than once been caught up in gossip and rumors about being in a relationship with with Jumin, but that's not obviously not true. So I don't know what kind of other stuff they're they're gonna try to pull. So anyways, there you go guys. Thank you so much for watching in this episode. I'm so happy, so happy to get another episode out for you. Oh my god. Anyways, I hope this continues. Fingers crossed. But if and anything again i will let you guys know um that it's i can't say it's, if it's gonna you know again be be a consistent uploading schedule again but subscribe you know put on the notification bell just do whatever you can and if you want uh updates from me because i'm telling you now it's gonna be erratic and it's going and i'm even my me myself i don't even know when's the next time i'm gonna upload so so it's better than to just, you know, just like, I don't know, comment on some of my videos and I'll, I'll give you updates then. Or like, you know, be be on the lookout for some of my community posts, etc, etc. But for now, anyways, thank you so much. But I'll see you next time, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye!